I have an empties video. And when I say empties, guys, I don't even know if I can hold this in like one arm. I'm gonna try because I got two boxes here. Hold on, I got it. I got it. Oh, this one's really heavy. Is there candles in it? Oh god. This is my empties video. I haven't done a video. Um, in about a year on my channel. I mean, my channel was very, very tiny. It still is. But um, I stopped um, when I got pregnant and I was sick during my pregnancy. And since then, baby has come and life. So uh, anyway, if you want to know more, I'm actually going to do a video about where I've been and my kind of my story, what happened with my pregnancy, because I think it's important to share with other women about things that happen. And... Um, maybe somebody else can actually have um, somebody to listen to and has had the same kind of experience and uh, thing that happened to them. So I'm going to put that into a different video. I'm going to film that and say like, where have I been, what's happened with my pregnancy and, and all that stuff. So maybe that somebody can get some help out of that, which would, even if it's just one person, I think that would make me feel really good about sharing my story. Anyway, so we're going to do empty. So I have a ton as you probably saw in the thumbnail. Um, so, uh, I have what I have here. It's a lot. I have makeup, candles, skincare, hair care, and others um, in here. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna film this in like one block, but I might have to split it into two if it gets too long. So I'm gonna split it into makeup and candles in one, and then all the skincare, hair care, and everything in the other video. And if it is too long when I start editing, I'll just put make it two videos. Um, hopefully you guys don't mind that way. So let's start, I think we're gonna start, oh, and it's gonna feel really good throwing that stuff out because it has been sitting in my closet on my shelf taking a whole whack of room and uh, quite frankly I'm kind of tired to look at it. <laughs> okay, so first things first is candles because they're right on top and I know I've gone through many more of these. I know I've gone through a lilac bath and body works. I have, I have a bunch. What I do is I, I take the wax out and I keep them and I put some of my makeup stuff in it so I have a bunch. Uh, so I know I've gone through a lot, but I only have hope four here. So uh, the first one is this Yankee Candle one. Um, this it actually doesn't have a name of what the scent is. Oh, anyway, it says warm, fragrant, woodland, rich, spicy, cozy, earthy, soothing, fragrance candle from Yankee Candle. So this is a candle my husband has had in his washroom for like. I want to say two years, I think, because we got these when we went to our trip to New York City. Uh, there's outlets right outside, about an hour outside of New York City, which right now I can't remember the name, but um, that's where we got these, and he just finished it a couple weeks ago. So, yeah. But it's it's like um, pretty much what it says on warm, warm, rich, spicy, cozy. It's a very manly smell, and he put this in his washroom when he gets ready or when he takes a bath or whatever. Um, so it took him a long time to go through it because, first of all, these burn very slowly and long, um, but also because you know, he's not in the bathroom 24-7. Then I have this one from Bath & Body Works. It's Beach Cabana. Okay, somebody needs to tell me, I see these people online all the time, when you guys do uh, reviews of candles and empties, do you read what the notes are of each candle on the bottom? And honestly, for the life of me, I cannot find it. So I'm actually wondering if it's because in Canada, they have the French also, and because they have Spanish, English, and um, I think that's Arabic. I think on there and then they also have French and I don't think they have French in the States so maybe that's where they put the notes because right, there's nothing on there it's just the warning about burning it for how long and it just says scented candle and it has the name of the candle beach cabana that's it so there's no notes I don't, I don't know anyway this one as you can see has a lot left in it 
and it started, to, I don't know if you can see this, but it started turning kind of black. It's a, it's a pale blue color. And it started turning a little black it, and it stopped burning and it left like a ridge inside and it just wouldn't burn more than that. I don't know, I've never had this happen before. Usually they burn till about like the bottom here. You'll see like the other ones, but this one couldn't. And it's a nice, I mean, it's a nice soft smell. A um, little bit oceany. I'm terrible at describing smells. It's soft. Um, really nice one for the summer because it's nice and soft. So, and it has a nice cute little nautical theme on top there. So this is a honeysuckle again from Bath and Body Works. And this is, I've noticed that I really, really like um, scents that have lemon notes in them. Um, and this is, le it's like a lemon honey flowery kind of scent. Really, really enjoy this. I have quite a few backups. Oh, this is one of my favorites. This is the White Barn Bath and Body Work Candle and Apple Flower. Oh, it's apple, but it has a sweetness to it and a freshness. I don't know how to describe it again, but it's just amazing. This is one of my favorite for the fall. Absolutely adore it. Apple Flower. The first thing here is a NYX Matte Finish um, Long Lasting Setting Spray. So I finished it. Was it? It was good, but I don't really care for a matte finish that much. I like more luminous finish, so I liked it. But I may try if I were to repurchase, I may try one that's not matte finish because I don't really need the matte finishness. Um, yeah, no, it was nice, and it's nice for a, for a, definitely nice for a drugstore option. This is a Bioderma um, Micellar Water. Absolutely love this. This is Holy Grail status. Right now I'm almost finished the Sensitive Skin one. Um, I really like that one too. I'm not sure if I've noticed a big difference. I have another bottle of this one, actually the bigger bottle, waiting once I'm done that my uh, the Sensitive Skin one. And then I'll probably be able to see a bit more if there's a difference um, in my skin. But I absolutely love this. It takes off all my makeup and if I have, maybe not as much if I have, if I need like really big waterproof removal, but it takes off most of my makeup. It just leaves the skin feeling nice. It does not sting my eyes. Um, absolutely adore this. And it's nice that here in Canada it's easy to find because it is in shoppers everywhere. Next is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation in W2. So I absolutely adore this foundation. Um, I never, I didn't actually try, actually I don't think I tried the Lumi in the liquid form and not the cushion. Uh, I think I'm going to try and look to see if they have the same shade. I don't know if they do, I haven't checked. But I actually absolutely adored this. I love how it applied. I love the coverage. It's not too, co it's not too, um, it's like a medium coverage. And if I needed to, I could just build up because my cheeks here, I have a bit of rosacea. So I could just build up on my cheek and then use a bit of concealer and path gone. I love that it's luminous. My skin is dry. So I like luminosity, especially in the winter. I absolutely adore this. It sets well. It doesn't get greasy on me. However, if you have oily skin, this is probably going to look like a, you're going to look like a disco ball if you use this. So this may not be for you, but I absolutely adore it. So I have actually gone, and if you don't know what it looks like, like there's a, a cushion. I tried the cushion. It works fine with the cushion, but I prefer applying it with a, a flat, hold on, I'll show you. <clears throat> a flat uh, foundation brush like this one. This is the, uh, the liquid foundation, no, so, sorry, <laughs> foundation stippling brush from Makeup Geek. I absolutely adore this brush and it applies really well for this kind of foundation. Um, and then it flips up and then you've got like the cushion and stuff like that. Now, you don't get a lot of product in this compared to the liquid form, which is the, one of the downsides. But I like took the cushion off, I like squeezed it, I took everything that was underneath, I flipped. The first thing I did is I took the cushion out and I flipped it because there was still foundation on the bottom. And so I did that, and then I squeezed it, I did everything to get all the product out, so, um, as much as I could. This is the Clinique Lip Balm Lut. Um, Sweet Pots Sugar Scrub and Lip Balm. So it's like one of those things that's two-sided. So one side is the sugar scrub, one side is the lip balm. So you may wonder why it doesn't look empty and why it's in my product empties. It's more of a throwaway, um, because as you can see, 
the sugar scrub just completely dried out. Um, and it didn't do much for my lips at all. So this actually will not be a repurchase. The foundation will be this. Actually, it has already. I have two backups. But this is not going to be a repurchase for me. The scrub did nothing for my lips. And there is... Um, and the reason why I was interested in this is because I wanted a lip scrub. And there's some that I'm allergic to. And there's some, um, some products that uh, by Beauty has a nice lip scrub. But there's some stuff I'm allergic to in it. So I can't use it. This didn't have any. So I'm like, oh, well, bonus. You also get a lip gloss. Now, this lip gloss is fine. There's nothing wrong with it. But I got this dark color because I want some pigmentation. This looks pigmented. There is no pigment on this. I don't know if you can see. But there is no, there's like barely any pigment. And this shows up on my skin because my skin is lit. But my lips with a bit of coloring, nothing shows up on it. So I was disappointed. I was really disappointed in this product um, for that reason. So, and because it's like two-sided, in the part where you actually turn is quite small so it's not easy to open I found and it's not very tight in there which is probably why the um, scrub dried out in my opinion. This is the Julep Black Canvas Mattifying Eye Primer. No, I got five. <laughs> so this is kind of a brush like this for the primer. Okay. Um, a doe with like a doe flat doe foot. I actually really like this primer. Um, I like how it applies. I like that it's uh, it has some color and it's kind of like a, a cream to powder. It's not too liquidy. And the only part of my face that's oily are my lids. So I need something. I don't need something oily like any silicone based ones or too liquidy. I find just my my shadows just doesn't adhere as much to my to my eye um, my eyelids. So I like this one a lot. This is holy grail status. I have, re I think I had a 30% off coupon and I purchased three because I go through them like obviously I have five. And that's one thing is it doesn't last as long because the formula, because it is cream to powder, dries out. That's the only downside of it. So I have to repurchase it a lot more than I may repurchase you know, like a primer potion from a Rindike or something. Um, but it's worth it because I absolutely adore it, it has color, my lids are a bit red, it, it takes that away, holy grail. This one I'm so sad, but it's gone bad, so I had to. So if I didn't use the Julep one, I'd use this Kat Von D one. This is the Kat Von D high voltage eye primer in Prime and Correct, and she doesn't make it anymore. In fact, it was on clearance, I missed it. So I'd love to pick up another two. This one, this one lasted me forever, like I still have a lot in there but it's gone bad it just smells terrible now and mind you I had it for two years so actually probably more than that so it's just gone bad mm, but I really adore it and it, it's the same thing it it really adhered to my uh, lids it has color in it it, just, it was awesome but it's just gone bad Coffee. That's what we're gonna start with. I like it when they, the sticks are tiny for dark colors. Give me a one second. Larve it. Next is the L'Oreal True Match uh, 